A certified wildlife habitat is a place of refuge. It's a regular yard and an urban sanctuary. It's a big place to a lot of little lives. Birds that migrate and come here every year, finding the food they need and places to rest. Native gardens are made of plants with origins in our region. That is, they are not plants that have been brought in from other continents. Plants from other locations don't support native birds, bees, and butterflies and other animals. One example is how the monarch butterfly needs milkweed. Without this milkweed plant, monarch eggs actually can't grow. This pipe vine swallowtail is similar. It exclusively uses this plant, a Dutchman's pipe vine, to lay eggs on. Without these plants, these butterflies can't even exist. This delicate plant needs to be pollinated by an animal that can hover in midair, without a perch that has a long tongue, that is attracted specifically to reds and oranges. Hummingbirds. Around neighborhoods, there's a sea of chemicals. People striving for the so-called perfect lawn, which means killing all the bugs along with everything else, including the species that pollinate our crops. A native garden is like any magical place. Maybe it disappears, but even then people will talk and remember. They'll see the pictures, they'll dream, and go in the right direction eventually.